Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Everything Spice. My name is Tanya. All right, so today I am just gonna do, what do you call it? Set it and forget it. Because I gotta get to the movies, my friends. Doctor Strange is playing, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's today. Went to church, now we're gonna go to see Doctor Strange. So, I have to get something fast on the table. Next week, I'm gonna think about something a little bit more complicated, but today, it's gonna be quick, quick. All right, so what we got is my preheating on high for four hours, my crock pot. Love this crock pot, it's an oval crock pot. See how ovally it is? Sprayed, as always. You can get the liners if you want to do conversationally, but I'm not gonna do that. So I have four big ham steaks. Got these at a, what do you call that? Wholesale place that shall be unnamed. Opened it up, there's juice and all that good stuff in it. All right, so, and there's juice all over my stove top, which is fabulous. But if you ain't making a mess, you ain't doing it right. That's what I was saying to you. All right, so we got here ham steaks, and look how thick these ham steaks are. You don't have to get them as thick as this, because most ham steaks are thin. But I'm going to pile up my crock pot, the bottom, with these ham steaks. And if you have two ham steaks, use two ham steaks. If you have three ham steaks, you know, and so on and so forth. If you have more, go ahead. If you have a bigger family, pile it up. As long as your crock pot can take it, you want to be able to cover the crock pot, right? You don't have to cut these. I know you're saying, well, you're just throwing them in. That's right. You want it easy, baby. We don't want it tough. You want to be able to get this in and get it out the door. Now, I didn't do it before church because these are ham steaks. So what is ham steaks? Smoked. They're already like pre-cooked. All we're doing is like heating it up, basically. All right, so what I have here is... Now that's done. Let me get these off before I touch anything. Chili. Okay, so I'm going to use a chili sauce. Any brand will do. This is not name brand. This is store-bought. I mean store-bought. This is store brand. But I like the chili because I like it. It's kind of going to be like a sweet and a sour type of thing. I decided to do it this way. I was going to do a teriyaki instead. And you could certainly do that if you wanted to. Get yourself a teriyaki blend, you know, like in a bottle. In a bottle. Yeah, not a message in a bottle. Teriyaki in a bottle. Yeah. All right, so we got this. One, two, cranberry sauce. What doesn't sound more holiday than that? Nothing as far as I'm concerned. Holiday, and I got this brand, but any brand will do. What? It's the whole berries. Oh boy, I never bought that before. Why did I do that? Ugh, I don't know. All right, well, it'll melt in, whatever. Whatevs, whatevs, whatevs. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Let's call the whole thing off. Yeah. All right, so I'm mixing all this in. And then the next one I'm going to do here for spice, because this is everything spice, my friends, right? Pepper. Now, this is ham. And ham is salty. Any ham is salty because they, you know, let's face it, that's how they like kind of like preserve it. It's preserved like a salty kind of thing. So I don't put any salt in mine, but if you like salt or you want a salt substitute, by all means, do it. Do it. It's up to you. This is a method. Cooking is a method. Baking is a science. So if you wanted to put salt in yours, you go right ahead, my friend. All right, I'm going to put parsley. I like the greenage and the red. With the green is Christmas all year round, baby. That's right, 365. All right, and the last thing I'm using for spice, this is the secret weapon. Yes, you don't want to know? You don't want to know? You don't want to know? All right, let me smell it first. See how strong. Now, my mother liked with her ham, she liked cloves. Not everybody likes cloves, if you know what I'm saying. But I'm going to do this one. Look at this. It seems like every jar I'm opening is like, no. So what's up with that? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, baby, yeah. Smell it, smell it, smell it. This is very strong. And it possibly could have cloves in it. Wow. You know what it is? You know what it is? It, what is under door number one? I don't know. What is it? What is it? What is it? Whew. It is Oriental Five Spice. Yeah, I'm going there. I'm going there. But I am going to use it judiciously. And what does that mean? Very tiny. Because a little, wow, little goes a long way, my friends. So a little zhuzh, a little, that's it. Don't go crazy. Because you don't know how you're going to feel about it. And if you've ever tried Chinese Five Spice, Oriental Chinese Five Spice, you might not like it. 
Let me see, what does it have in it? It says cinnamon, anise. Looks like, it looks like a kind of a salt thing, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. All right, cloves are in here. There you go, Ma. I'm using the cloves in the Oriental Five Spice, just saying. Oh, yes, and did I forget? Come on, hello. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. <coughs> to you mothers out there. Coco, I'm not talking to you. Coco, are you a mother? Cut it out. For the mothers out there, Coco, that's what I'm saying. Stop being crazy. Nobody's knocking at the door. Are they knocking? Come in. <laughs> get out of here. Get out, doggy. Get out. She's a foolish dog. Foolish, do foolish, foolish. All right, anyways, happy Mother's Day, everybody. And that includes fur mommies and daddies. Come on now. Well, daddies. Yeah, well, whatever. You know, sometimes we take on the role of more than one. Sometimes we're single parents and we be mommy. So happy Mother's Day. Whatever. Fur mommies, um, step families, you know, step, you know, mommies and mommies. You know, we have all of our roles to play, right? So happy Mommy's Day to all of you mothers out there. All right. Excellent. All right. So I got this all in. I did the whole berries. Oh, I don't know if we're going to like it, but we're going to try it. Now, set it and forget it. Cover it up. Pop goes the weasel because the weasel goes pop. And that's going to be on for four hours. Now, join me on the other side as we make our sweet and sour hand sticks, baby, for Mama's Day on Everything Spice. Hi, everyone. We're back from the movies, and I am not giving any spoiler alerts at all. But the movie was soups cool. Just saying. I would highly recommend the new Doctor Strange movie. But the one strange thing, I will give it out. I will give it out because there are some people that did, that did watch it. How many times did they say Dr. Strange's name in that movie? It was, I'm telling you, I bet you there's people that literally counted it. I have never heard the name Steven said as many times as I have in that bloody movie. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> Felt like 50 times, just saying. All right, here we go. It was done for four hours, right? Cooked for four hours while we're going. Woo! smoking baby smoking now I did take it out I did shred it a little bit it wasn't come to the pot let me show you what I mean come to the pot see look at how delicious see it's all shredded and that's what happens at the four hours here we go ah, there we go four hours in a crock this is what it looks like now if that ain't fabulous enough we can always make it more fabulous look now what I did with Mayan because I don't eat potatoes that much of pasta. I made it into a tortilla. Right? I put it into a wrap and I made it into a tortilla. And that is fabulous in itself. But we can make it even better. I made some hash browns. So that's what your plate is going to be. I'm going to put some hash browns and make you a plate. And of course we have to have the juice. Hello. I'm gonna put the juice all over it. Mm -mm -mm. Nobody is gonna tell me this is dry. And here is your portion. And if you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you, please like and subscribe. And join me next time for Everything Spice. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone. I hope it's as sweet as this is gonna be. Be safe.